Have you ever been flipping through your new photos in Lightroom and they look great, but then suddenly Lightroom changes it and makes it all like washed out and screws up the color. I'm going to show you why that happens. Let's go into Lightroom and just import some raw files from a variety of different cameras. Okay, here we go. We can see some, some thumbnails here. And if I double click on this picture, Okay, did you see it? It just changed quickly. Here's another one. Whoa, it just like, it's just every single time I flip through, it's changing it. Maybe it's for the better, maybe it's for the worst, but I'm gonna show you why that happens and show you how you can fix it and prevent it from happening in the future. The Let's go back a couple of pictures here. Let's look at this picture of Chelsea. Lightroom will process raw files from any camera using basically the same strategy. So your Canon pictures will end up having pretty similar colors to your Nikon pictures. If you switch cameras like I do, that's great. That's kind of what you want. But if you like those in-camera colors and that in-camera contrast and processing, go into the develop module for your pictures. Go down to the camera calibration tool down here. It's at the very bottom. And you'll see process, which should be the current one, and then profile. This is what you want to change. Click the profile. And by default, it's at Adobe standard. You'll see a bunch of different options. These can be different depending on the camera that you're using that will allow you to replicate the in-camera styles that should be similar to what you get with your JPEG file. So there you can see I switched it over to portrait. I could switch it over to neutral or standard or maybe even vivid. That will look more like those JPEGs. Let's switch over to a different picture here from Adobe standard. This was taken with an A7R II. I could switch it over to portrait. And you can see that looks more like what the camera probably would have given me. Now, these aren't always perfect replicas of what the camera would do, but it's what Adobe thinks is pretty close to the camera's in-camera profiles. If you want this to be applied automatically when you import pictures, here's what you can do. You're gonna make yourself a new preset. So I'll open up this side panel here. Um, with my settings, let's say I wanna always use camera vivid. I'll click the plus sign here to create a new preset and I'm gonna call it my good default. And now you can see all the different uh, effects that I'm going to apply to it. The only one I really need to apply is the camera calibrations. So I'll check none and then I'll just select the process version and the calibration. If you find you always wanna add a little contrast or a little vibrance or a little clarity to your pictures, you could do that here and then just select those aspects of it here too. But I'll just create it with just that calibration. And so I've, now I've made the good default. Now, the next time I go to import pictures, import photos and video, what I'll do is apply during import. You see this develop settings. I'm just going to go down to user presets. That's where I saved it. And then I will select good default. And now all the pictures that I import will automatically have those settings applied. I, I hope that helps. It's just a really common question that we get. If you want to know more about Lightroom, check out my book, my Lightroom six book with over 14 hours of video. It's a good book. It will walk you through all every aspect of Lightroom because you can't really learn Lightroom by just poking around on YouTube and getting one tip at a time. Go to Amazon, check out the reviews, and you can buy it either from Amazon or from our store here. We ship worldwide. The ebook is only 10 bucks, which is crazy for getting 14 hours of professional grade training video and a bunch of Lightroom presets and various practices that you can do. It's it's really great. It includes a Facebook group too. Get it from us or buy it from Amazon. Thanks. And of course, if you just want free stuff, subscribe. Bye.